Okay, so after I made the commentary yesterday, I realized that the E3 was going on. I knew about it, but I just forgot for some reason, and uh, that means that a lot of more information has come out to the community and every everything like that, so a little bit more about the modes, the creative class system and stuff like that. So, GameRanks made an amazing video on it, so I'll just link that in the description, so you can watch that afterwards. But this is going to be some standard facts and just my opinions on what I think about the game, and I... We'll just say the opinion. My opinion has not changed at all after watching the other facts and stuff like that. Okay, so without further ado, ju let's just jump right into the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Yo, what is going on, guys? My name is Slayer, and welcome back to the channel. Today, what I got for you guys is basically just a commentary about World War 2, the newest Call of Duty that is coming out. But um, first, thank you guys so much for uh, 50 subscribers. I know it's not much to a lot of you guys, but uh, it's a um, decent milestone for me. It's halfway to the 100, with, which was my goal for 2017. So I think I'm doing good to reach that goal. But yeah, without further ado, Let's get right into the commentary. So yeah, the gameplay in the background is going to be some Overwatch, just because that is what I've been playing the last couple days. I've been addicted to shit, I've just been tired of Call of Duty right now. And yeah, over to World War 2. World War 2 is going to be a game designed by Sledgehammer, if you, as most of you guys did know, and, and that is the people who have worked on Advanced Warfare, which wasn't a great success if you ask me, uh, but um, it has been confirmed to be boots on the ground, which I'm really excited for. It's gonna be pretty amazing, really. So, yeah, they're gonna make everything with such detail because they have histori historics and everything like that, just working on the game, just making it as realistic as possible. The guns are fired at gun ranges and stuff to make it sound more realistic, and yeah. They vehicles and everything like that is just yeah it's just realistic all the time so I think that they're being like such into detail is gonna be amazing for the game like aesthetically and uh, so just gonna help out with the gameplay a lot and yeah then we have the campaign the campaign is based around 1944 to 1945 and you follow a young soldier named uh, Ronald Red Daniels which is um, voiced by Josh Dommel, I think, which is an actor in Transformers, actually, so... Yeah, and um, it's his first time in, like, war and stuff like that, so because he's really young, and I, the story just seems... It seems to be really, like, dark story behind it. Then we have the multiplayer. The multiplayer has confirmed a is confirmed to have a beta, which... Um, if, it, if it's like Black Ops 3, like the reveals has been right now, it's been kind of similar to the pattern in Black Ops 3. The beta will likely be maybe like in August or something, but don't take my word for it. It might be like in September or something, but by now it seems like it's going to be around August at least. And also there have been a couple new game modes um, announced. We have... Headquarters, which is not like headquarters in um, Modern War or COD 4 at all. It's a social feature where you can gather and interact with other soldiers and compete, show off, compete, for, and yeah, win win prizes and stuff like that. Basically, I think it seems like, and it's a, like huge um, amount of players that can do it. It's like I think it's 48 or something. So I think it's going to be like kind of similar to H1C1 H1Z1 before you go into a game and stuff like that. You just hang out with people and stuff. I think it's going to be kind of similar like that. But um, a lot of people has also compared to Destiny and Tower. You're also going to have War, which also is going to be huge game mode. A huge game mode with a lot of players, probably the 48 man cap that's in headquarters is gonna be there too and I think I think it's gonna be like that and the maps are gonna be really huge but it's gonna be like a mode more similar to like 
battlefield in um, ways that you can like fly, use planes and um, tanks and vehicles and everything like that. So I th I'm I'm really excited for that. I think it's gonna be really fucking cool. And um, the last thing about multiplayer is that um, the creator class system is gonna be a kind of different or a personalization system. It's gonna be in like divisions, but I think there's gonna be like two things. It's gonna either be like kind of like ghosts, where you go into a division, you rank up to 55 or whatever the cap is, and then you prestige and you can join uh, division number two, and you go all the way up to like division number 10 or something. It can be like that, like kind of a prestiging system. Or it could basically just be like mission teams for um, mission teams in Infinite Warfare, just in a new, if you ask me, a little better way. But um, as I'm sitting here, I'm thinking of a third one too, like Battlefield One's uh, division system, or just like where you choose if you want to be like an AR guy, or yeah, basically. Basically, if you've played um, Battlefield 1, you know what I mean, but like, it's kind of hard to explain. Here, then you also have... The so there's gonna be a third game mode, and it's gonna be Nazi Zombies, but... We only have se we've only seen one picture of it, as le at least I have, and... Um, it looks very, like, gruesome, it's not like... It looks really realistic. -y when thinking about like um, Black Ops 3 zombies and stuff, but I also think that it might be because it's gonna be something a little different. It's not gonna be like wave zombies, it's just gonna be their own take on like zombies and a, like kind of a fan favorite or like a um, popular game mode. So I'm pretty excited for it. So yeah, that's basically all the facts I know now as of now of World War II and um, for my opinions, I'm really looking forward to the game. It's going to be a classic World War II boots on the ground first person shooter game. It, it's going to be pretty amazing. Details, everything is going to be there. The guns are going to sound really realistic. Everything is just going to be a really good experience if you like Call of Duty and first person shooters. But uh, I can be wrong. And um, supply drops, I don't know if they're they're probably gonna be in the game. I don't know how they're gonna like um, implement them in, but who knows? That is uh, just time. Only time can tell that. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys liked this commentary. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new, and push that notification button to be notified every th every time I go live or make a or upload a video or yeah. Anything like that. Also, follow me on Twitter at SlayerGamingHD. Link in the description. And I'm out, guys. Peace.